Hi, good morning. It's Sunday, and we are going to the mall today um, as a family. My boys, of course, like GameStop. My girls like Justice. So, you know, it's <laughs> it's kind of a family day. And I thought I hadn't done a um, tutorial in a little while, so I thought I would do one with the, the Balm's Nude Tude palette and just kind of tell you what I use as I go along. I'm going to use the MAC Matte cream today. I'm trying to kind of use this up because as much as I love the hourglass, I'm kind of like, I don't want to use it every day. I like to put this under my eyes for sure so the concealer smooths on easily and the T-zone. And that's it. That's where I put it. Next I'm going to use the hourglass concealer. This is called Hidden in the colors Pearl. And I'm going to put it under my eyes just like so. And then right there, there, I have a couple spots. And I'm getting to the point where I'm trying to hide this hyperpigmentation right there. So anyway, that's where I put it. Sometimes I put more on after, but it depends on how my foundation looks. Today I'm going to use my NARS Sheer Glow in Montblanc. Um, this supposedly is made to be used with your hands, so I don't know. I don't typically do this. I usually use a brush, but let's just see how it goes. Hmm. I like that. So that was easy. You know, not all foundations are made to do that. I do, um, I've been really enjoying the Clinique Stay Matte, but I think it needs a brush. I tried to use it with my hands the other day and I didn't like the result. So I'm just going to let that set for a minute and then I'm going to use the NARS Powder in Flesh, which I love. For some reason, Sephora stopped carrying this. I don't know why they would do that, but they did. So I just ordered this from the NARS site. And you know what? One of these lasts me like three years. And I use a puff. And I just place it basically on the skin. Now, I have oily skin, so I get most parts of my face so that hopefully shine doesn't break through. That's the goal anyway, but <laughs> there we go. So that combination to me, NARS Sheer Glow and NARS Powder, is perfect. But... You know, not everyone likes the setting powder, and that's fine. Not everyone's oily. What are you going to do? Um, oops. Next, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Eden um, Primer Potion and get the eyelids. I'm wearing a blue top today. I don't think you can really see it, but... So I would like to sort of be complimentary of that. See, it's kind of a powder, not powder blue, I don't know, it's kind of a dusty blue. Do my brows with the Illamasqua Brow Cake. I wish we, my Sephora in the town I live in does not carry Illamasqua, so I ordered this. But I wish they did because I'd like to see what they sell. There we go. This is a brush I had from a long time ago. I ordered it from Makeup Geek. Okay, so there's that. So I've done that, that, that. All right, next, <clears throat> and I kind of go all over the place, don't I? I'm going to use the Chocolate Soleil in Milk Chocolate. And I'm going to use the Cowgirl Dirt Foundation Brush just to kind of see. Oh, I love this brush. This is so... Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It's not densely packed, so I think it's really good for bronzer. And I always try to... So yeah, I like the way that worked. That worked really well. Great for bronzer, cowgirl dirt. All right. Next, I pulled out a blush I haven't used in a long time, and that is Deep Throat from NARS. I think everyone loves this one. I 
just rarely use it. It's a bit intense for me, so. <laughs> Blush face. <laughs> Do you hear them downstairs with their daddy? All right. By the way, thank you for humoring me yesterday and watching my daughter. She was so excited to post that video and she's had such positive response and she's just, she's a peach. So I'm gonna use the um, Elizabeth Arden Rose Illumination Powder next with a MAC 109 or a Sigma F05. But yeah, she was so proud to post that video and she was so excited and I really appreciate you watching it. Okay, so see the shine from this? This is maybe the best highlighter I've ever used. I think it is, actually. Okay, so face is done <clears throat> for the most part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good grief. All right, so now I'm going to get to work on the eyes. And this is the palette I have used. I am using today. The brush it comes with is complete rubbish, so I don't use that. But... I will use, um, let's see, I'm use a MAC brush, and uh, I've reached that point in the week where I really need to just clean all the brushes, but anyway, these are the brushes I've grabbed for, I think I could use, I don't know, I'm going to start with the MAC 239, and I haven't really put any thought into what I'm going to wear today, so that's probably not a good thing. Um, I think I will use this color Stubborn. It's kind of a shimmering pink on the lids. You know, I know some people weren't real excited about this palette, but I don't know, I like it. I like the brand, the balm. I have in my kit, my for weddings, I have the um, Mary Luminizer, and that is an amazing highlighter. Um, I do like the Rose Illuminator one from Elizabeth Arden, a little bit better for every day. So that's what that color looks like, stubborn. Now I'm going to use the um, the color Sultry, which is a matte brown in the crease. This palette's great for for not having a lot of fallout, unlike that um, Tarte True Blood palette I used yesterday. What a pain in the arse that was. I was not pleased with that at all. In fact, it's gone back in my palette drawer and um, probably won't be used very much after this. But when I saw it on camera, how much fallout was underneath, I was just really irritated. All right, so that's Sultry. Now... That's how that looks. All right, I'm going to use the color Seductive, which is kind of a similar shade with some shimmer underneath the lower lash line. Just right in there. This palette comes available on Hot Look pretty often, and it's only like $15 on there. I think it retailed for like $35 or something. And then in the outer corners, I'm going to take the same brush. I didn't even tell you what the brushes were. This is a Sonia Casio crease brush. And I'm going to use um, this color, Sophisticated. It's a darker brown with shimmer in the outer V real quick. Just right there. Then I am going to take a Sigma, I think this is E35, yep, and just blend. It was just a clean brush, by the way. Okay. All right. Um... There's not a highlight color I'm loving in this, so let me see if I have something else. 
close by. Oh, here's the MAC palette. Um, I have Vanillas, the one that's almost gone, or getting to be almost gone. I'm just going to wipe this off, the 35, and use Vanilla as my highlight on the brow bone and blending color. This is my sort of all-time go-to for highlighting my brow bone, but I'm so fair, but other people I would use um, sometimes a different color. Sometimes I like brulee from MAC. All right, and then I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Sellout as an inner corner highlight right here. Just like that. All right, next I will use Stila Cajal and Onyx in the waterline. Just like that. And then I will use it on the upper lash line. Next, I will take, <clears throat> excuse me, the same brush I used underneath my lower lash line. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. I don't even know what it's called, but just kind of a smudger brush. And then I will use this color Sleek, the dark brown, to just kind of smoke it out a little bit. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to tap it off with Voluminous Carbon Black. Just kind of wiping the end off. It gets kind of goopy. But it's still my favorite. Oops. I just smudge my thumb. All right. Two coats. And that's done. What will I use on my lips? Sorry, I should have thought about this, shouldn't I? I'm going to use MAC Half and Half because I haven't used this in a while. It looks like this. It's kind of a pinky nude. It's just very wearable. Looks like that. And we'll top it off with Dior 576 Gloss, my very favorite. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope that was interesting. Um, my hair's still straight. Oh my gosh. I wish I could keep it that way, but I'm too lazy to use a flat iron all the time. Anyway, um, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday, and let me know if you have any requests for a look or tutorial. Um, because it's such a focus in my personal world, I'm going to do some... Um, Marine Corps ball looks coming up so hopefully that will be helpful to some girls out there and I will talk to you very soon. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.